welcome back in this tutorial you will learn assembly modeling so click on start mechanical design assembly design maximize so in this assembly we already learn how to create part model so our part models are already ready we just have to assemble them so you can assemble the part using this existing component click on existing component then, uh, then he is asking me to select a component into which the existing component will be inserted so we will insert it in, into this product one so click on product one then my parts are on C drive so I will go for C drive and suppose at first I want to place this plate if you want to view the preview of these parts you can click here and click on medium icons so you can view the preview and if you view the large icons you can view the preview of the part so I want this plate so select the plate open then at first I will have to make this plate fix so for that I will have to apply the constraint so constraint toolbar is not visible it must be there so we will just check it ok here is the constraint toolbar we will place it here and we will place them back here we don't want this we will put this here and one more we will need this update also so we will put it here ok update gone inside again ok update is here ok material alright so we have taken out the toolbar constant toolbar this toolbar should be above alright so here is the fix component so click on this fix component and select the component so at first component we have to fix at its position then next is again click on this existing component click product one then suppose I want to place the shaft click on the shaft or open ok then if you want to move it outside you can move it using manipulation click on manipulation now we can manipulate in x direction so just click and uh, drag the component if you want to manipulate in y direction you can z direction so in any direction you can manipulate or in xy plane also you can manipulate if you want to and if you want to rotate the component you can use around which axis you want to rotate suppose around x axis i want to rotate click on the x and you can rotate it around y or around z likewise you can use the manipulation so click on ok now we want to assemble the shaft in this plate here so for that at first we will see how to use coincidence constraint so click on coincidence Close. then I want to match this axis with this axis then to see the effect click on this update or you can also use Control u shortcut so it has been placed there then we want to match this surface with this surface so again we can use coincidence constraint I want to match this surface with this surface ok you can tell here whether you want on the same side or on opposite side so you can define whether you want it on the same or opposite side suppose I right now I want it on the same side click ok 
and again click on update so this part is placed properly and if you want to make any changes to the constraint suppose I want to make it opposite then here in constraint two constraint has been added so this is the first constraint and this is the second constraint if you want to make any changes to this constraint just double click on the constraint click on more and you can modify it I want it opposite ok and update click on update so it became opposite to each other so in this way you can modify the constraints also and if you don't need any constraint you can just right click on that and delete it so you can remove the constraint also suppose again I want it on the more same side suppose same ok update and I don't want suppose so in this way you can use coincidence to match the surfaces and you can also select the uh, whether you want it opposite on or in the same direction so that is coincidence constraint so we will delete this isometric now then next is contact constraint so in contact constraint it will remain opposite only suppose I say I want to make contact between this surface and this surface and update so in contact they will remain opposite to each other if you need the component opposite to each other you can use the contact constraint so we will just delete it escape delete so that is the contact constraint then next is offset constraint if you want to give some space between two components so at such a moment you can use offset constraint suppose I, I will click on offset constraint and select this surface and this surface then you can specify the gap how much gap you want suppose I want the gap of 30 and you can also control the orientation whether you want it opposite or same ok then click on update so it has given me the gap of 30 from the bottom surface and if you want to bring it down just double click and give it in minus minus 20 suppose update so it will bring it down if you give in minus so in this way you can use offset constraint to give the gap uh, gap between two faces then next is angle constraint if you want to specify some angle between two faces suppose I will take one more component so click on this existing component and product one then suppose I want this vertical plate open now this vertical plate got merged into this plate so we will just use manipulate in x direction and we will take it outside so this is the vertical plate ok then update ok so whichever component are not assigned any constraint it will remain at its position but the component with constraint will match again then suppose I want to give some angle between these two plate so at first I will have to suppose coincidence this line with this line so I will use coincidence this line with this line update so both lines are coincidence then I will say angle constraint this surface and this surface then you can specify the angle suppose I want it to be 45 degree ok update so in this way this angle is 45 if I want it opposite I can give minus 45 update so in this way it is 45 from this minus like this and if I want it to be here so I will have to increase this angle so it is minus suppose suppose I want to make it vertical so I will do minus 90 update so in this way you can specify angle between two faces so in this way you can use angle constraint if we double click it so you can change the angle you can control the sector also 
the specified angle will fall under which sector that you can also define suppose I want this sector around this sector and I want it 45 again ok copy it so in this way it has taken 45 in this sector so you can define the sector also for that more so in this way you can define the sector in which area that angle should fall ok I don't want it so I will delete it then we have already seen the fixed component and if you want to fix whatever is the position you can use the fix together but normally don't use this always apply the constraint properly then next will be suppose I want to assemble this plate in this hole so for that I will uh, remove this constraint and I will manipulate and take this plate out ok then I have to match this hole with this actually the size let's see what happens so we'll just say coincidence suppose I want to match this internal face with this face ok update then next I want to suppose now I want it to be opposite so I will just double click on this constraint more I want it opposite ok update so it became opposite properly then I uh, again constraint coincidence constraint this I want to match this surface with this surface ok update now this has been matched properly then next will be to match this surface with this surface then it will be placed on its place so I will again say coincidence this surface with this surface ok update so it has been actually thickness is not same it has been matched properly and if you if you want to see if there is any clash between these components any of these components then you can use clash tool so here is the clash so click on clash and apply so here it is showing that there is a clash here between these two part actually the clash is with cylinder actually ok here it is going inside inside the hole so in this way you can check the clash also so just click on it double click or you can also view it here where is the clash it indicates that so in this way you can see the clash and where are the contacts that also you can view it where there is a contact and where there is a clash and if you want to remove this clash so you have to define their position properly so you can remove the clash there are two chances actually misplacement of component and other is dimensional problem so you have to check that whether it is a problem with the dimension or it is a play, uh, wrong wrong placement if there is a wrong placement you can uh, delete the unwanted constraint and apply the new constraint suppose I say this surface should match with this surface ok update click on update so if we again check the clash apply so there is one clash is here so we will just check that what is that so we will just cancel it and we will just view the part in 2D wireframe click on 2D wireframe so here we can see that the thickness the whole whole height is lesser than the plate thickness therefore there is a clash is there if you increase the size of this hole or reduce the thickness that clash will be removed
so that's all we will stop here if you want to assembly exercise you can visit this video for next tutorial visit this video for complete playlist visit here and to subscribe subscribe from here so thanks for watching we will stop here